Hello everybody and welcome to another knockoff review. In today's video I'm going to be taking a look at the Yes Model RF02 Stubborn Buffet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I told my contact to tell Yes Model that that makes no real sense whatsoever. But what do I know? Now this is of course a straight up KO of the Make Toys Remastered MTRM04 Iron Wheel. Even the box is pretty much the same size. Yes, they've got their own artwork on, I say their own, chances are it's probably bootlegged from somebody else's, but this is their second figure that they've copied from Make Toys as part of this kind of masterpiece line. They've also copied the Make Toys Defensor, but they've upscaled it. Uh, this is their second kind of straight up KO of a Make Toys figure. Like I say, the boxes are pretty similar. Uh, although the Make Toys one doesn't rattle like the S yes model one does. <laughs> and of course we have the Robot Fantasy Insignia on the back there. That's kind of part and parcel of the guy that helps produce these figures. And the reason we had rattling is because all of the weapons are loose. I know this is a KO, but they could have at least given us a baggy or something <laughs> just to stop everything rattling all over the place. And here we have him out of his plastic prison, giving us a little twirl on the turntable. Uh, he feels pretty much identical to the Make Toys version in hand. Uh, to be honest with you, the joints are a lot better on my Make Toys elbows. Uh, they actually hold in place. Uh, this guy has got a little bit of a floppy elbow syndrome going on. He comes with exactly the same accessories. We get the shoulder gun, the two pistols, and the alternative faceplate, uh, depending on whether you wanted the Japanese style or the US style. Uh, but there isn't a great deal in it. It may be my eyes, but the colours do seem slightly different, uh, but only very slightly. Uh, it's just the price point. I think the price point is the biggest difference between these two. I mean, all of the hard work has gone into these by Make Toys, and I'm pretty sure reverse engineering isn't super easy, but I'm pretty darn sure there's a lot less involved in reverse engineering something than there is in inventing something from scratch. Ah, uh, having them side by side, okay, it's, it's a little bit more difficult to distinguish them than I originally suggested. <laughs> Now that they're both in the same light, it, it's actually quite difficult. Uh, the only kind of telltale signs is this guy's got a bit more wear and tear on him because he's been on a shelf and maybe his grey is a slightly different tone. It does, under this light, to me, look like this is slightly lighter, but it is very, very minimal to say the least. Um, it amazes me how they do this. I mean, reverse engineering is one thing, but getting the exact tone and colour matches as well. I mean, do they have an inside man? I, I don't know. Even going as far as the weapons. This is the S model. I've got the handle down just so I don't get them confused. And this is the Make Toys. I mean, the colour is pretty much spot on. Uh, there is a slight tone change in the darker green. I think maybe this is a little bit more pronounced. And then these, uh, at the same time, the handle's looser on the Make Toys. Uh, this is quite a stiff handle here, but the seams, everything seems very, very similar indeed done a good job in a bad way taking a look at our headmasters we have the yes model figure just here and if you know just on the side of the face 
there's a small blemish just there but again uh, it's very very slight uh, the seams are all pretty much the same uh, we have more pronounced detail on the shoulders of the make toys i think but again the legs appear to be slightly more pronounced on the yes model uh, it's good if you want to get a good cheap ko but at the same time if you're looking at buying an original make toys product it's going to be incredibly difficult to tell the difference i mean these figures look so alike uh, don't get me wrong if you work for make toys you would probably be able to see some glaring differences between the two but I don't <laughs> and I'm I'm struggling I, I honestly wouldn't know uh, to be honest with you the S model has tighter joints because it's newer but at the same time there's nothing wrong with the make toys version it's a tough one isn't it now just for the purpose of making my life easier so i don't get them confused uh, i'm going to switch out the faceplate on the s yes model version and uh, we just place the new mask on hit oh there we go there's the new face again pretty much identical to what make toys delivered but at least that helps me distinguish between the two when i've got them in hand here we have the yes model version of chrome dome again i really struggled to tell the difference between that and the make toys version and just taking a look at the instructions see if you can guess which one the ko is that's right they've gone full on old school and they've just photocopied the instructions and it's not even done to a very high standard i mean they're not even trying now the made in china is in exactly the same place it's just like they blanked off this section here with all the rest of the make toys information and one of the only real glaring differences between these two which is something that really baffles me is when you're bootlegging a figure to this kind of standard you know you've got it pretty much spot on why skimp out on some of the articulation make toys have a really solid ratchet system in their kneecaps which holds everything into place exceptionally well and you've got the pivot on the ankle you've got rotation on the thigh and you've got a nice ratchet going forwards and back now on initial inspection we've got rotation on the thigh we've got nice ratchet going forward and back we've got that really nice pivot on the ankle but then coming down to the knees it's given us a friction joint and not even a very tight friction joint why would you skimp out on that ratchet system i mean you've even got the gearing and everything set up for it on the inside of that leg i just don't know why they would skimp out on a ratchet joint and coming down to the arms you've got exactly the same range up down left right you've got rotation up there but we've also got a fairly loose bicep there which again you didn't get with the make toys iron wheel now i know there was a fix kit out for iron wheel i'm not entirely sure what it fixed i ordered one for make toys and I do have it somewhere, but I wasn't sure what exactly it fixed. But I got told that when I have Iron Wheel, I need to get the set. So I thought, fair enough. Uh, is it blatantly obvious? I mean, have they added this fix? Was there problems with these knee joints? I don't know. That's where I ask you guys to comment in the comment section below and just let me know what am I missing here? Why would they take those ratchets out of those legs you've even got a small notch on there where it's come off the sprue and the same notch is there where it's come off the sprue uh, 
again now, this is really kind of dusty and I don't know if that's talc or something from the mold, but that's something we didn't get with Make Toys. Make Toys had good QC. I've always been happy to buy them because you know that 99% of the time the figure is going to be spot on. But yeah, I mean, look at that. That's That could probably be cleaned up, but it's more of a grey uh, than a black. This is on the darker side. Uh, this is quite faded and it does. It has that kind of talky texture to it where it's come straight out of the mould without being checked. Now that I've pinpointed some of the glaring differences, if this is your first time checking out the iron wheel mould, let's just take a look around the full articulation. The head can look left and right. Now we have the option to either tilt it downwards, because uh, this neck piece is on a pivot, or you can rotate the head around, pop it out, put it back in, and then we can tilt it backwards to look upwards, you get the choice. The shoulders, these are all friction joints, up, down, left, right, out to the side, upper bicep, rotation, double jointed bend on that elbow, rotation on the wrist, fingers, a pin, there's a groove on the inside of the hand, much like we get with the fans hobby where we can slide the weapons down. We get friction joint on the waist, great ratchet forward and backwards, and out to the side, upper thigh rotation on a friction joint. Again, no ratchets on those knees at all. And the feet can go up and down. We can go left and we can go right and we can tilt to the side. And to get the Yes model to stand on that one foot is so much more effort than the Make Toys model just because of those bends on the knee. With the ratchet joints on the knee, you can get a semi-natural running pose with the Make Toys, and Yes Model unfortunately is more like a clumsy stumble pose. Drunk on Energon. Now oh, enough critiquing what is in essence a very good figure. It's just not as good as its original counterpart. Let's just take the weapons out of his hands. He wants to remove the head. This tab opens up on the arms. We want to rotate the hands inwards, fold it back upwards so that the thumb passes this notch. And then we can bring that down and close that off. The arm will pull out from this joint, extend and collapse this forearm inwards. The heel spur collapses. This piece here slides upwards. We have a tab on the inner leg which opens outwards. This piece here will now pull backwards, rotate out to the side. Uh, this part here is going to untab and that's going to go all the way up. And with this section here facing forwards, this is on a sliding hinge. You want to slide it all the way down. This is going to collapse and there's a tab just here that's going to push and tab in. Pull the foot backwards, which allows us to rotate this foot up without hitting any of the remaining side. Then slide this piece back down. And that closes off that back piece nice and tidy. This chest piece flips up. There's these grooves just here. These are going to go in. We need to check that they tab in nice and sturdily. This piece here is going to lift up and pull forwards. See, I love the engineering on this. We're going to lift the cannon up. This is going to come out to the side. And with this being flat, again, we've got some more sliding goodness. I love that. Small things, I know, small things keep me and the wife happy. And don't quote me on this, but I believe it's been a while since I transformed this. We have to lift these up and over before we can then slide this across. That now allows us to rotate this piece off first, then bring that back in. So these are now at the back. This piece here unplugs, comes down and tabs in to the front of those legs. 
This piece here is on this rotating hinge. The hinge comes down and there's a tab on the inside here. That's just going to slide in and tab in nicely on that joint there. And if we come to the underside, this is going to drop down in through this hinge. And again, there is a tab on the front and back here and just lining those up tabs all of this piece here into position make sure the cannon is down and we need to check this we need to rotate it over but and there's a groove on the inside there we're going to slide oh, come on Get to the groove. there we go that's in and then this whole section here should <laughs> he says should rotate 180 degrees uh, that slid all the way back. Yeah, that slid all the way back. Is the is it going to clear? Not really. <laughs> it's a bit tight for my liking. There we go. There, that that's that's gone all the way round. We're starting to look a little bit more like hardhead now, isn't it? Now it's just telling us and the instructions to make sure that these are tabbed in correctly and fully locking everything in. This piece here is meant to line up with this section here. And on the other side, these are meant to be tabbed in nicely as well. But we've already done that. We've jumped ahead of the instructions. Uh, this lifts up and we've got faceplate storage at the back here. Mine's going straight back in the baggie though, or I will lose it. We can grab our header master and you want to just bring no! If he doesn't fall apart, now you want to bring his legs down. Uh, this piece here is meant to stay on his back. It's going so well. Uh, that's going to slide up to cover off the mask. And he wants to just bring his hands kind of upwards. He bends his knees. He can keep his legs together and he's going to kind of sit in that position, we're going to put him just in the cockpit, like so. And fingers crossed, this is going to close. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Cooking on gas. <laughs> uh, right, next step. These are going to go down, like so. And then as far as I'm aware, this slides in like that. And number two slides in like that. So yeah, there we have it fully transformed up. It's not half bad, you know. I love the fact that both Make Toys and Yes Model uh, included rubber on the treads. It makes the world a difference. It really does. In this day and age, I think it's the sort of thing we expect from a masterpiece figure. It, it holds together pretty nicely and it's a very close homage to the original toy and uh, lots of nice nods there but brought into the 21st century my front piece doesn't want to stay kind of extended it definitely has a very nice military vibe to it it's not going to be overly camouflaged with those rather garish colors uh, as far as firepower goes we've got this nice cannon here which can go left and right up and down that's a really nice range on there. Love the fact that I can actually move. This goes up with the cockpit. And this one here again is in a fixed position. When you put this gun in here, make sure you support the bottom of this. Otherwise you will push the gray piece down. But yeah, it holds together really nicely. I would have liked maybe some foot pegs or something for other headmasters to ride a long kind of shotgun but all in all it's a very close copy uh, this time i think yes model is slightly off the mark they could have done with tightening up those joints the odd piece doesn't really want to stay pegged in it looks pretty much the same and feels very similar but i think the biggest mistake they made was those knee joints. There was no need to not include ratchets. Unless, of course, I haven't taken mine apart yet, that I've actually got one and it does have ratchets, but they're broken. 
I mean, there's no rattling in the actual figure itself, and it was housed in a plastic clamshell, so nothing should have moved. It just strikes me as glaringly odd that they would uh, fail to carry over such a good trait from the original. It helped with stability no end. Iron Wheel or Hungry Buffet, <laughs> whatever he's called, is a good homage to Hardhead. I wish Make Toys would hurry up and give us more of these. I know that Fans Toys are going to be giving us the likes of Mind Wipe and Skull Cruncher, but I would just really wish Make Toys would kind of jump back on this bandwagon and give us some really kind of obscure characters like a Nightbeat or somebody like that. That's the sort of thing I would love from them, but I don't think they like me because I'm reviewing knockoff Make Toys figures, so you can't blame them. <laughs> but yes, this isn't bad. If you can get it for a good price, then get it. But make sure there is some sort of proof that you're buying a Make Toys product and not a Yes Model 1. And at the moment, as far as I'm aware, those knees are a telltale sign. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, feel free to give it a big thumbs up, share, and of course, subscribe. I purchased this from TF Direct. So I've included a link to their store in the description below. Until next time, from myself and Hardhead, thanks for watching. Goodbye.